This local sports report is presented by the BFD Building Center, a proud supporter of the KW Siskins. BFD is Waterloo Region's only Rona store, and it's locally owned. At their store in Kitchener, you will find a huge range of products and supplies for any home project, including specialty fences and decks, plus friendly professional staff ready to lend an expert recommendation. You can also order online at rona.ca for in-store pickup or delivery. Drop in to see them in Kitchener on Forwell Road at Victoria Street North or visit bfdrona.com. Saturday night GOJHL action from the Gretzky Center as the KW Siskins getting set to visit the Brantford Bandits. First period, no scoring, so we'll skip right to the second frame of this one. Mason right off the faceoff. Wires one home, just a minute 50 in to the second frame, and the Siskins have an early 1-0 lead. Then it's the Siskins still looking for more in the second period. Leonard Nice comes up big time. What a pad save. Nice covers the loose puck. He keeps it 1-0. Then the Bandits, late stages of the second period, looking to tie Juan Agrameyer in the high slot. He rips it top shelf. Agrameyer hits double digits. He's got his 10th of the season, and we're tied at one. But the Siskins weren't done in the second period. Looking to retake the lead. Mateo Amaral in. How about the mitts in tight? Amaral finishes on the backhand as he roofs it. And after 40, it's 2-1 Siskins. To the third period we go, and a wild third period at that. First, it's Ben Oliver in on a breakaway. He chips it over the glove of the netminder. Oliver, some big insurance for the Siskins. It's a 3-1 hockey game. But less than two minutes later, Bandits on the power play. Juan Agrameyer strikes again from the near dot. Agrameyer is second of the night, his 11th of the season, and the Bandits are right back in this one. It's a 3-2 hockey game. But the Siskins would respond as this game just went back and forth all night long. Cutter Devine from the point. Captain Cutter with his third of the season, and he's restored the two-goal lead for the Siskins. It's a 4-2 hockey game. Third period just getting started. Blake Clayton on the power play, looking to make it back within one. He does just that out front as he finds the loose puck and buries it. Clayton's got his 13th, and it's a 4-3 hockey game. But less than 30 seconds later, the Siskins looking to go back on top by two. Jake De Silva out front and he buries it. De Silva makes it a 5-3 hockey game in favor of the Siskins. Still lots of time to go, but we head to the late stages of the third. One-timer from the point, bouncing in behind the netminder. Evan Paliubeski buries his eighth of the season, and with just a minute 30 left in this game, we're back to a one-goal game. It's 5-4. Bandits looking for a miraculous comeback. That's what they get, walking right in and firing one home. New acquisition, Will Bray buries it. His seventh of the season, Bray comes up big time for the Bandits as he ties this game with less than 20 seconds to go. We head to overtime. In the overtime period though, Alexander Mazuka, a howitzer to the back of the net. Mazuka wins it for the Siskins as they take a big sigh of relief as the Siskins take this one over the Bandits 6-5 in overtime. 